Hi, this is question number 9 from the AQA call to January 2015 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I just want you to pause the video and try the question yourself. OK, well done if you managed to give it a go. For the next part of the video, I'm going to give you a hint as to how you can complete this question. Now, for part A, we're being asked to use logarithms to solve the equation here given our value of x to three significant figures. So um, your hint for this part of the question is to try taking logarithms of both sides. And then once you've done that, you should hopefully be able to isolate the x um, and then solve out solve what x is. For part b, um, it says given that this here, um, we need to express a in terms of k. Now for this part of the question, you want to try and write this side here, the left hand side, as a single logarithm. You then want to write it in a form that doesn't involve logarithms. OK, so um, write it as a single logarithm, first of all, and then you should be able to write this equation in a form that doesn't involve logarithms. Part C says use the binomial expansion um, to express this in ascending powers of x. So you might want to use Pascal's triangle. Um, so I'll just put that over here for you. So and I think that's as far as you need to go. So that should tell us our coefficients. Um, and then you want to write this in expanded form. OK, um, part two, it says that we're given this long equation here. Um, and by forming and solving a suitable quadratic equation, find the possible values of n. So one of the things that you might notice here is that 1 plus 2n cubed is basically what you expanded over here. So the expansion that you used over here, you can substitute into this expression um, and then simplify it. We then want to write the right-hand side as a single logarithm and once we've got this and this both written as a single logarithm we should be able to equate this with whatever we've got over here okay so that would mean that we're writing it in a form that doesn't involve logarithms hopefully that will then turn into a quadratic equation for you okay so um, i hope those hints have helped you in some way if you'd now like to pause the video and see if you can have a go at those questions OK, for the final part of this video, I'm going to go through the answers to the question. So first of all, um, we want you to use logarithms to solve this equation here. So I suggested that you take logarithms of both sides of the equation. So that makes this log to 3x. And it doesn't matter about the base. Um, so we assume that's base 10 is equal to log 5. OK, so um, I'm then able to write this as 3x log 2. So I've taken this 3x in front of my logarithm is equal to log 5, which means x is going to be equal to log 5 divided by 3 log 2. So x is equal to log 5 divided by 3 log 2 and if I get my calculator now to help me I can say log 5 divided by 3 log 2 or log 8 and that gives me 0 0.774 to three significant figures, so 0 0.774. Okay, um, for part B, it says that we're given this here and we need to express A in terms of K. So I'm going to write this as a single um, logarithm first of all. So log K take away log 2. Um, because we're subtracting the logarithm, we can write that as k divided by 2. So 
I've got a log a um, is equal to two thirds. So that tells me that a to the power of two thirds must be equal to k over two. So a to the power of two thirds must be equal to k divided by two. Okay, so I need to express a in terms of k. So that means that a is going to be equal to, and I can cube both sides and then square root both sides. Um, so I've got k over two to the power of three over two. Okay, um, and that that's fine for four marks. Okay, so, um, part C says by using binomial expansion or otherwise express one plus two x cubed um, in ascending powers of x. So I suggested that we can use Pascal's triangle um, for this one. You can use um, you, know, you can um, use another method if you want. Um, so I'm going to start by saying right. Um, I've got one plus, um, and then I'm going to have. 2x, so 3 times 2x, okay, so that's that 3 times 2x, um, plus 3 times 2x squared, plus 1 times 2x cubed. Okay, so that means I've got 1, whoops, 1 1 plus 6x plus um, 4x squared times 3, which is 12x squared plus, um, and that's going to be 8x cubed times 1, so that's going to be plus 8x cubed. Okay, um, and that's in ascending powers of x. Good. Right, part two, it says um, we're given this here and we need to form a um, quadratic equation to find the values of n. So if I start by, well, I'm going to replace 1 plus 2n cubed with this in terms of n. So let's start by saying, right, I've got log two and this is going to be one plus six n plus twelve n squared plus eight n cubed take away eight n okay so that's that part is equal to and this is plus so I'm going to multiply these together so I'm going to have log 2 and that's going to be 4 times 1 plus 2n times 1 plus n squared. Okay, um, so I'm just going to tidy this up. So that's going to be a log 2 and that's going to be 1 take away 2n plus 12n squared plus 8n cubed and that's equal to and if I expand this out I'm going to have um, 4 uh, 1 times n squared times 4 is plus 4n squared um, plus 8n and then we've got 2n cubed times 4 is 8n cubed. Okay, so um, this part must be equal to this part over here. So I could say 1 take away 2n plus 12n squared plus 8n cubed is equal to 4 plus 4n squared plus 8n plus 8n cubed. 
Okay, um, if I now simplify this, um, so I'm going to bring everything onto the left hand side. So let's start with our n squared term. Sorry, let's start with that n cubed term. So 8n cubed take away 8n cubed is going to be 0n cubed. I've got 12n squared take away 4n squared, which gives me 8n squared. Um, I've then got negative 2n take away 8n, which is going to be take away 10n. Um, I've then got 1 take away 4, which gives me take away 3. And that's everything, so that equals zero. Okay, um, and this should factorize now, so let's see if we can give that a go. I've got 4n and 2n to give me my 8n squared, um, and I think that's going to be negative 3 plus 2, yeah, so that's going to be negative 3 there. And plus 1 there. So let's just check. 8n squared take away 12n plus 2n, which gives us take away 10n, take away 3. And that equals 0. So therefore, we've got um, 4n plus 1 equals 0. In which case, n is equal to a negative a quarter. Or we've got 2n take away 3 equals 0 in which case n is going to be equal to um, 3 over 2. Okay, so those are going to be our possible values of n. Thanks very much for joining me. I hope that was useful, and I'll see you next time.